Hi, everybody. I'm Rip Randall, and this is Rock and Roll High School. The movie Rock and Roll High School is considered a cult classic for both capturing the rebellious attitude of teens when the 70s became the 80s and for featuring Rock and Roll Hall of Famers, the Ramones. A local author and professor at Utah Tech is tackling the movie and the music in his new book, I Want You Around, The Ramones and the Making of Rock and Roll High School. Armstrong gives an inside look at the making of the cult movie and the involvement of the pioneers of punk in America. Talking with St. George News inside Cafe yeah, yeah. Elevado on and, Dixie and Drive, and so in front of you know, some of the greatest names of rock and album form, Armstrong said the demands of the movie so hit a roadblock fun. with the rock and roll lifestyle of the Ramones. Were really kind of cockeyed fellows. Many of them were very dear and engaging, but they were very strange too. And so the movie got started and you, uh, you have the Ramones, and the Ramones are used to high energy nights and, and you know, late days, late mornings, and <laughs> whatever it is they were doing as, as rock and rollers trying to get a hit. And, and they were getting crazy. They were getting crazier and crazier and crazier sitting around all the time. And also a uh, poor, uh, D.D. Ramon, the, 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 the bassist, was a hardcore drug addict and was always sort of jonesing for something. And when fans knew D.D. was around, they would throw him packets of drugs. And, and, and it, caused, it caused lots of tension and turmoil. And so that's a part of the story. Armstrong had the aid of some of his students in the making of the book that chronicles the movie like a cinema narrative providing what he says is both a historical text and a piece of entertainment. It's, it's educational and it's historical, but it's also meant to be lively and entertaining. So gosh knows, I, I worked hard at all the tricks that I, that I, that I have as, a, as you know, I have a PhD in fiction technique and I've been teaching creative writing at Utah Tech for 16 years or something, 15, 17 years, whatever it is. And, uh, just trying to make it as 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 uh, accessible as possible to as many people as possible, and I have a degree of self-interest here. I want to go and do more books like this. For more on the making of the book, read the story. This is Chris Reed reporting for St. George News, your number one source for local news.